Alright, what up YouTube family? I felt like I just had to just talk about this real quick. Because um, I did mention a little bit back in my other video. Um, let me grab this mic right here real quick. Oh, that fell. <clears throat> Alright, so I just wanted to talk to you real quick about um, established titles. Um, yeah. Scott Lerner, and I think that's his name. If I got it wrong, I do apologize. Is a YouTuber who, a big time YouTuber who actually put this, exposed this on blast. Now, I'm not going to go to the research and stuff like that of it because if you want to, you can go look at his video. Uh, I think you can just look up Scott Lerner. Let me do it real quick. I uh, just want to make sure I got that right. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay. Let's go open up this YouTube here. Uh, let's look up Scott. Scott Schaefer. Okay. Scott Schaefer. It took me a while to look that up. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, right now on screen, I'm going to show two of his videos. Um, I seen this while I was at work. Um. Basically, he exposed uh, this company, uh, basically, in which I already knew it was a scam. That's why I didn't even deal with it. 99% um, of the YouTube abs are nothing but scams. And we'll get into that in, in a later video. But basically, it's just YouTube just letting anybody advertise, knowing it's a scam. Now, here's the thing. YouTuber is the biggest one of the biggest companies besides Facebook who supposedly supposed to be against misinformation but would allow misinformation in their ads to air will allow fake ads and scam ads to air on their channel they will also allow the, like they didn't even try to research to see you advertise because you know it's all about that money so if a YouTuber like yourselves out there try to expose them, oh, they'll hurry up or try to talk about a topic, they'll put at the bottom of your screen, uh, oh, information or where to find this information at, and they always link it to a Wikipedia article or something like that. But yeah, they, they, they can vet your videos, but they don't have time to vet their own advertisers. That's because they're making money, so they don't care about it being a scam that's being listed on there. But everybody knows established titles is a scam straight up scam an absolute hypocrisy of a scam matter of fact you know what let's do a live reaction I don't know if I can now I'll ask permission from Scott Schaefer if I can do a, a reaction to his video but yeah basically it's, it's it's like this this is my opinion on it like I said I'm not gonna do any research I'm just talking about my opinion basically um first of all I think it's disrespectful for a company that's found to be based in China. I think it was Hong Kong, based out of Hong Kong. They have the audacity to think that they can sell fake titles on plots of land that they own in Scotland out to people for them to be called lords and ladies. I've never heard of a Scottish tradition in Scottish people, please correct me if I'm wrong, in which you can buy a small piece of land and automatically call yourself a lord or lady. I think the process goes much different than that. I think the process is much more complicated than buying one square foot of land that's about the size of a laptop, basically, and then you can call yourself a lord or lady. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. And for a lot of these YouTubers to get out here and try to advertise that stuff because they're hungry and greedy for money doesn't make any sense to me. It's bull crap. I'm sick and tired of people trying to scam other people just for money. Our country is so damn selfish and greedy, it's ridiculous. There's YouTubers around the world doing it, but our country at most should actually know better. We're supposed to be better than the rest of the world. And instead, it seems like we got that race to the bottom ever since Bush was in office. We've been having a race to the bottom ever since then. You 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 knew that this was and even when it came out as being a scam you still had youtubers still trying to defend it because they got to defend their cash flow me personally i've been at the bottom i've been homeless you feel me so i'm not in a rush to be greedy and get money you know what i'm saying so my thing is this there's no way you can be so greedy that you can sell your soul 
and allow a program like established titles to run on your damn channel and you know i shouldn't say an ad i should say sponsor it on your channel on your videos knowing 1000 percent it was a scam it, it looks like a scam buying one plot of land just so you call yourself a lord do you realize how disrespectful to the scottish people that is i'm surprised we didn't see any videos of the scottish people speaking out i guess they was like hey well you know what let the world find out <laughs> i guess they sit back and was like well we'll let them find out what the real thing is yeah you keep spending that money trying to call yourself a lord or a lady my thing is this how disrespectful is it for you to think that you can buy a plot of land just to call yourself for a lord or lady and you have not went through what the scottish people have went through you have not lived in that country you have not uh, i feel like that's a title that should be earned amongst the scottish people you feel me uh, or somebody who stayed over there and actually put in the work put in the effort uh invested in scotland so for them to sit up there and sell this stuff to say hey you can easily call yourself a lord or lady by owning one square foot of land when you got scottish people over there who's probably worked acres and acres of that land and you know and worked hard to get enough money to even buy land i think it's disrespectful for the scottish people who have to earn that title of uh lairs and lady to have it to where you know a couple of americans or other people from around the world can pay fifty dollars to get the title no that's disrespectful to me i feel like that's a title that you should have to earn in scotland and from the scottish people i feel like that's a title you should earn so it's disrespectful for established titles to go out there and pull some bull crap like that thinking that it's okay for you to scam people to think that they can be called lairds and ladies just by spending 50 bucks on one square foot of some ground that's that's the audacity dude that that just pisses me off you know you know what i'm saying like because as a black man i know how it is when people want to take something that's yours and claim it as their own you know what i'm saying and so for people thinking that they can just buy a plot of scottish land and call themselves that that just mm, that that's that's disrespectful that's it's dumb and it's disrespectful like maybe we should get uh uh hear from the scottish people themselves and see what they think about it you know what i'm saying i personally just think it's disrespectful you know they may think the same or they may think differently but for you to sit up there and and, and and push this narrative of buying plots of land for 50 but you scheming. I wonder how many people got schemed out of that. I wonder how many got scammed out of that. Because to me, it's just straight up disrespectful for people to have to actually go through that and spend their... You know, a little bit, 50 bucks, that can fill up your tank in some states for a week. Not as much California, because we know their gas prices are high, but it'll help with something. You know, buy you some food or something like that. But no, let's go ahead and just spend that $50 on calling ourselves uh, lairds and ladies without thinking how disrespectful it will be to the Scottish people. Or how, di oh, this might be a scam. Yeah, it, it is a scam like i think that part's super obvious so like i said I, I just wanted to give my two cents on there this is not gonna be a long video but i just think it's disrespectful for that to even be done and i do want to pass on apologies to you know the scottish people um for for that being done especially by a company that's based out of what i heard hong kong based out of china are we for real it's not even the scottish government that's doing it or the people that's doing it <clears throat> all right man y'all be safe i smack y'all in the face all right